Recorded books and one-click digital present Indiscreet, The Horseman Trilogy by Mary Balog Narrated by Rosalind Landor Chapter One One sure sign of the coming of spring was the return of the Honourable Mr. Claude Adams and his wife to Bodley House, their country home in Derbyshire. There were other signs, of course, there were snowdrops and primroses, and even a few crocuses in the woods and along the hedgerows beside the road, and there were a few shoots of green in otherwise bare gardens. There was a suggestion of green about the branches of trees, though one had to look closely to observe the delicate buds. The air was warmer than it had been, and the sun seemed a little brighter. The roads and laneways had dried after the last heavy cover of snow. Yes, spring was coming but the surest sign of all, and the one most welcome to many of the inhabitants of the small village of Bodley on the Water, was that the family was returning to the house. Almost invariably they left soon after Christmas, sometimes before, and spent the winter months visiting various friends. Their absence was a trial to many of the villagers, for whom winter would have been dreary enough anyway. But for those two months they were forced to live without a sight of Mrs. Adams driving through the village, often nodding regally through the window at a fortunate passer-by, or of the same Mrs. Adams, a vision of fashionable elegance, entering church and sweeping down the aisle, looking neither to left nor to right to sit in the padded front pew. The poor and sick and elderly had to live without her personal conveyance of their food baskets, though a footman always carried them from the carriage to the house, and her gracious condescension in inquiring after their health. Those of some social stature had to live without the occasional flattering visit, during which Mrs. Adams would sit inside her carriage, the 